One of the challenges with a, uh, a Teams meeting is that everyone is equal when it comes to who can participate in a Teams meeting. Um, traditionally, folks have been able to mute each other, start and stop recording um, as they see fit, uh, even share content. So if you were sharing your screen or something like that, somebody could start sharing their screen and it takes over what you were sharing. Um, there's a lot of scenarios where we need a little bit more control than that. And Microsoft has provided a solution for that just recently with uh, the new presenter roles feature. So what I've got here on my screen right now is basically a breakdown of they have a new attendee versus a presenter role. And attendees, they have way less rights in a meeting than a presenter does. So now if you split out your attendees into attendees and presenters, the attendees cannot share content, they cannot mute other participants, and they cannot um, start and stop recording. So they can still unmute themselves, it's still a collaborative meeting, but they don't have the ability to um, you know, disrupt other people or disrupt the meeting by muting a presenter. So let's take a look real quick at how we actually adjust these settings and pick who can be a presenter and who can be an attendee. So over here in Windows, in Outlook, I've just created a sample test meeting. I've invited a few people to it and I've added a uh, Teams meeting to that particular invite. So there's my Teams meeting down there at the bottom. Hidden in the middle right here, there's a new meetings option uh, section right here. If I click on that, that will open up a browser just using Edge right here. If you're using Edge or Chrome, this will work just fine. If you're on a Mac like I usually am and you pop this open in Safari, you'll run into an issue. You need to use Chrome or Edge to actually view these meeting options. Once these options come up, I can uh, select who can bypass the lobby. We've had that for a long time, but we, now we have this new option below that for who can present. By default, in a Teams meeting, everyone can present. That means that they, everybody is equal, everybody has the same rights as everyone else. If I wanna control that, I can drop that down and say, only people in my organization. So for us, only other Cerner Associates can mute other people and can record and stop recording. If I wanna get even more granular than that, I can click, pick the specific people option. And if I pick that, then it will go out, it will fetch who's in this meeting, who's been invited to the meeting, and it will give me a list of participants. So if I drop this down, now I can select it like Morris and um, Spencer. They can present during this meeting, but my regular account and Jim Vians, they can't, um, present during this meeting. So me and Jim, when we're in this meeting, we wouldn't be able to mute other people, we wouldn't be able to share our screen, um, unless one of the presenters were to right click on us and click make presenter. And that's another thing that you don't have to go to this meeting options if you need to make somebody a presenter on the fly or last minute you need to make them a presenter or make them an attendee. And now when you're actually in the meeting, if you open up the attendee list, all you need to do is right click on any of those names and you can click make presenter or make attendee and it will either increase their rights or decrease their rights depending on what you select.